guys, it's Winnie here with new hair. I just decided it was time to change the hair up since I've had the black for such a long time and I rarely commit to a color for so long but I really wanted to go a little bit lighter for the summertime and I think later on I will gradually lighten it a little bit more and maybe do just a softer ombre or balayage to it but that's another story. Anyway, today I have my monthly favorites to share with you guys. I have a bunch of new beauty things I want to talk about and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it and start with some skincare products. I just have two. And you guys know I don't change up my skincare routine very often because when I find something I like, I just tend to stick to it. And I also don't waste a lot of my time trying out new products continuously. If I don't like it initially, I know I probably won't like it and won't use it a lot because I know my skin and I know how it reacts to things but I did try out two new skincare brands that I really like so far so the first one is from Kate Somerville this is her goat milk moisturizing cream I've never tried anything from Kate Somerville before but I've heard amazing things about the brand and everything so I was really excited to see this this actually came in a subscription service I think it's called Mimi like M-I-M-I -M -I, which I will link down below for you guys if you want to check it out but this one came in their April bag and I was really excited to see it. It also came along with some other really cool skincare products and this is an expensive jar of moisturizer. I think it retails for like $65 and I am not being sponsored by them whatsoever. I just thought it was really cool that they included a very high-end and expensive full-size product for you to try because a lot of times with subscription services I feel like you get tiny like travel value or like just mini sample sizes of things to try out which really is like one or two uses. But I've been using this and I absolutely love it. It's a really lightweight moisturizer. So if you don't like heavy feeling creams, this is a really good one. And it also comes with this little pump where you just push down on it and the product comes out of the center. So you don't have to potentially contaminate the product by digging your fingers into the jar, which I absolutely hate. And I honestly think all skincare products should be packaged like this. And this is great for sensitive skin. It doesn't really have a scent to it. I feel like it's a really, really light scent if there is one and it absorbs really quickly it makes my skin feel and look really hydrated it almost gives it like a fresh glow which I love and the other skincare product I have is also a moisturizer this is from Caudalie this is their intense moisture rescue cream it's made for very dry skin so this is definitely a lot thicker and heavier compared to the Kate Somerville it comes in this little squeeze tube you get 1.3 fluid ounces of it I feel like I use a a little bit less of this and I only use this at night because it is a little bit thicker and heavier so I just kind of wash my face do my serums and whatnot and then I apply this moisturizer to my skin and just kind of let it sink in through the night next I have two lip products I've been loving the first one is from bite beauty and I did pick this up in my Sephora VIB rouge sale haul this is their amuse bouge lipstick in honeycomb I've already gone and picked up another shade I think it's called meringue but it's just a like more nudie pink color this one is in honeycomb which is a lighter dusty rose kind of brownie nude lip color and I really got it because I wanted an everyday lip color which I think this is perfect I really like the formula of the amuse bouge lipsticks because they're super creamy and moisturizing you guys already know I am obsessed with my like matte liquid lipsticks but I really wanted something different something a little bit more comfortable and creamy feeling on the lips the other one that I have is from Tarte it's their lip surgeon skin to intuitive lip tint in the color energy and this is one of those like jumbo twist up lip crayon things but I really like this because it doesn't look like it has a color to it until you apply it and then it changes its color on your lips this one just happens to be kind of like a brighter pink shade but it's just a really light wash of color this is what I like to use when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup day or when I'm just doing like really light makeup and I just need to slap on some color on my lips this is just a really nice natural looking hint of color this is a lip tint and it goes on kind of like a balm so it's nice for moisturizing your lips as well but once that kind of wears away it leaves a soft pink 
stain on your lips, which I really like. But I love the scent of these. They're kind of like a minty scent. And then next I have these falsies that I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. I've been wearing these a lot lately because I'm going for more of a softer, more natural look for every day. So these are the Kiss Trio Lash. It comes with short and medium lashes and they are those individual lashes. And I like these because they are individual and you can place them where you want and you can use as much as you want to to create a fuller looking set of lashes. And you don't see the lash band on these so it's not as restricting as a pair of falsies with a lash band because these you can hide a little bit better with your own lashes. I feel like you have a little bit more versatility using the individual lashes and they look a little bit more natural on your eyes and also if you are a beginner at applying falsies these I feel like are a little bit easier to apply as well. And then this is from Kiss as well. This is their lightning speed acrylic dip kit and this is one of those like at home nail kits and I've been trying so many different kinds and I think this is probably one of my favorites. I am wearing them on my nails right now. I'll do a close-up of them. They don't look great because I do need to do a fill on them, but I wanted to talk about these because I have been trying to grow my nails out. They are pretty long right now, but I'm constantly running around the house cleaning and just doing all kinds of things, and they tend to break after they get to a certain length, and most of the time they break right in the middle of the nail, so it hurts and it really sucks. So I've been trying to find a nail kit to kind of like fix and repair the broken nails, and I don't want to have to cut all of my nails because one or two of them is broken. So what I've been doing is placing the fake nail over my real nail that's broken after I trim it and everything. And I just keep it on until my real nail grows out a little bit more because once it's broken in the middle, there's really not a whole lot you can do to it. And it's always going to be really annoying and it snags and it hurts. So I always want to make sure it's covered. So that's kind of like my quick fix to it. And this has been the quickest, easiest kit to use and it is an acrylic nail so these have been on for almost two weeks. They do stay on pretty well. They look like my own nails because I shape them and I cut them to the length that I want. So I feel like with this kit you can customize it a little bit more. I've tried the other ones that are the glue on ones where they're already like shaped and everything for you but I feel like the glue is not sturdy enough and they just lift too easily and I don't like the shape of those nails because they don't match the shape of my own nails and I just don't feel like they last very long so I feel like this is definitely the better option to go with if you are trying to fix your nails. And I know a few of you guys have already asked for a video on how I do it. I did recently just break this nail, so I think I will do a video to show you guys how I do it. So if you guys ever have a broken nail or anything, I think that's a really good option if you don't have time to go to the salon. It's also a really easy thing to do at home. I personally never go to the nail salon because I can paint my own nails. And I never did acrylics or gels or anything like that because my nails grow super, super fast. So I think I would be spending a ton of money if I had to go and get refills all the time. But but with the kit, I think it's made it super easy and you can definitely do it at home and save yourself some money. Okay, the next item I have is a hair product. This is from Marula Oil. This is the Rare Oil Perfecting Hairspray. It's a super lightweight hairspray hairspray. Usually in the past I use really strong like freeze hold hairsprays that leave your hair feeling super crunchy and I just felt like that's what I needed to do to hold my style but I found this. It's a flexible hold hairspray but it still holds my style throughout the day so I really like this and I also use it for teasing and it doesn't make my hair feel super crunchy or anything. This also smells really good which is half the reason why I like a lot of my hair products because it leaves my hair smelling really good but it's just like a really light mist flyaways be gone voila I have one other nail product this is from Qtex it's their twist and scrub sponge okay this is very important if you do not care about anything else in this video you can exit out of this afterwards but make sure you go and get this so before this I used to use a regular bottle of nail polish remover and some cotton puffs to remove my nail polish just like most of you guys and that would take me forever to take off my nail polish and about 100 cotton puffs later so then I found this and this is so easy to use and it is such a time saver you literally 
take off the cap and there's a little sponge in here well it's a big sponge and it's soaked in acetone and all you have to do is stick your finger in here and move it around and it takes your nail polish off instantly and this also comes with a little toenail dauber if you were wondering like how do I stick my toes in this to take my nail polish off my feet there's a little dauber that you can wipe on your toes to remove your nail polish and that is really quick and easy so good job Qtex you have literally saved so much of my time I feel like anyone who uses nail polish owns nail polish likes nail polish should have and use this and I'm also not sure how you like run out of this product if it's just in the container and you don't ever take it out and all you do is stick your fingers in it like how do you actually run out of it like maybe the acetone gets really gross and it doesn't remove anything but I would definitely keep the lid really tight on this so that the acetone doesn't spill or evaporate or something okay I just have a few more things to show you guys I have two blushes here from Sephora it's the Sephora collection blush line and I did mention this one in my latest Sephora haul it's in the shade shame on you which is a really pretty light peachy pink color which I really like because it's a great everyday color and it works with a lot of different skin tones it is a little bit more subtle but the pigmentation is beautiful and these are very long wearing the two oh my god I just broke the lid this one is in the shade passionate number 23 and I got this one because I liked the other one so much, but this one is a much warmer peachy color, which I thought would be great for the summertime. And I do have it on my cheeks today, but I love the way these go on. They just are so pretty on and the quality is amazing. You get a lot of blush for the price, which I think was like 14, 12 or $14. And it's a good thing that you can pop these out and put them into a Z palette because I just broke the lid off of this one, which sucks. So the last item that I have in my favorites is actually a little gift that I got for myself. I don't do this very often. I don't splurge on gifts for myself very much. It's just not something that I do often or think about doing often, but I wanted to just treat myself to something nice and I decided to pick up a new little LV item and this is their newest Pochette Felici in the Dummy Azure. And my friend Charmaine was really the one who convinced me to go ahead and get it because I was on the fence about this and another style, but she has this and after seeing it on her I just fell in love with it I thought it was the perfect size and shape and everything and I honestly haven't ever really been too drawn to any of the styles until recently especially with this piece I don't own very many LV pieces this is only my second one but I really do like the classic look of this and it's actually supposed to be a wallet on a chain it comes with a gold chain that you can wear crossbody or on your shoulder and you can kind of play around with it a little bit I wanted something a little bit different from what I have and I have a lot of black handbags so I thought this would be a nice piece for the spring and summertime and I also thought it would be great for more formal events because it is a very simple and classic silhouette and I just thought that the Damia Azure was really beautiful with this kind of style and the inside of this is also really different for me because it is the ballerine so it's a light baby pink which I do not own many things that are pink Pink. And inside are two removable pockets which really sold me on the bag because I love the versatility of it. This one holds all of your cards. There are a total of eight card slots and then there's a little slot here for cash or anything you want. The other one actually comes with a little zipper and it has the same pink lining inside and you can put your coins or cards or whatever you want inside of it. And I don't have anything in these yet because I still have my Gucci card holder which holds my like driver's license, all of my credit cards and just some gift cards and I just threw that inside of here along with the other little pockets. This will hold all of those things, my phone, some chapstick, some gum and mints. So even though this is pretty small, it still holds everything that I need in here perfectly. It keeps me from overstuffing my bag, which I do a lot of times. I like that it is a structured bag, so it keeps its shape and I like that I can carry it with my hand or I can also use the chain if I wanted to. I think I'll be wearing this a lot more often than I even plan to because it's the perfect size and shape for traveling. You don't have to carry too much with you. But those are all of the things that I have in my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, if you have a product recommendation for me, please leave me a comment down below. And also leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the new hair color. And don't forget to check out my links for my Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, and Instagram which are linked down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!